Sugar Box Ride and Southern Sugar TV presents Miss Ruby, 89 Sugar Caprice LS, coming out the muddy Mississippi. Oh, you done did it now. The streets done woke up a sleeping giant, and this is about to go down, baby. I'm talking about a car so clean. Sugar Box Ride got it shining like a brand new diamond, baby. With a six liter engine, when you crank her up, you can hear it from a block away. I told y'all y'all wouldn't hear And don't get it twisted. We're keeping it old school, baby. With 22 inch dating wild wheels. With the full man. Cause if your paint ain't shine and your rims don't bling, you ain't clean. And that's for real, man. Cause we're taking this thing to a whole nother level. So get ready. This ad was brought to you by Southern Chevy TV. Home with Miss Ruby. What's up, YouTube? Your boy Chevy Box Rider here with a little update. I think your boy is gonna have to change the gas tank because I got a leak somehow and I don't know how. So let me crank it up so I can show y'all what I'm talking about. Try to crank it up and let it run a little bit, but it's leaking right there. You can see the line from where it's been coming down. So we're gonna jack this thing up and see what's going on. We're not leaking from the fitting, so where it was coming down at, I don't know if you can see it, it was coming down right here. So apparently it must be something up top. So let's unbolt these two screws. And let's get the tank down too. So I found one spot, but it doesn't look like it's leaking from there because I don't see no residue running down or anything like that. So I don't believe it's there, but you see it's been running all along there and um, and everything. Didn't find no leaking points around the top part, around the sending unit. Did see some right there. So, but all along here that's nothing but gasoline man so i don't know what if it's a little pinhole somewhere right in here but you know what we're gonna do the type of person i am i ain't gonna keep fighting with it i'm gonna go ahead and just replace it i mean it's a brand new tank it's under warranty so I'm just gonna have to do that but as i was saying see like i looked all right there and it's been, it been seeping down. It hasn't been having this issue long. What I kind of think happened is my filler neck was angled a little crazy to where, y'all yeah, show you. The cap was resting like right in here instead of up in here. So while it was on there, I didn't feel like dropping it down. So I tried to push up Try to push up on the filler net and maybe in the process of me doing that i must uh put a pinhole maybe on this side because i did have a jack and a board well yeah i think i had that board up under the gas tank and then i had the jack under that board and was trying to push up on this part so i might have just accidentally put a punched a little hole in it so I mean, hey, it is what it is. Things happen at times. So we're going to go to O'Reilly's and we're going to get us another gas tank warranted out free of charge. So let me run down to O'Reilly's and I'll cut you back. All right, YouTube, got a new gas tank. And I see they changed the design on it. They ain't got them little ears bent, bent up anymore. So that's a good thing. And it's not stainless steel. kind of look like it's painted power coated but it's probably painted but still got the bowl in there as you can see so like i say and then also for you guys that got the 87 and back like the 80s to the 87s this is the gas tank that you would need when you do ls swap because of that little bowl right there so that is the that is the right gas tank so all you got to do is just get it out of a out of a 89 or a 90 box that was fuel injected. This is the sending unit. 
Only thing you have to do is get the sending unit for an 89 or a 90 box fuel injector and just change the pump out. That's it. That's all you got to do, man. It ain't hard at all. It ain't hard at all. And this sending unit was an FG10F. And the pump that I used was nothing but a um, 96 Impala pump. So that's all you got to do. Give me one second. Let me put my uh, fuel pump strain on and get it back in there. All right, what up, YouTube? Your boy back. Got the gas tank up. As you can see, fittings on. And for that other little part off the center unit that's right there, that's your vent line. So I don't, I don't have mine hooked up to anything. So it just vents out. But you know, you got your feed in your return, AN fittings back on there together. Everything's back up, looking good. And I know also some people was asking me about what um, exhaust I had on here. So if you can see, it's Floor Masters. I don't think it says on there what um, which one it is. I think these are the 40s that's on there. They were already on the car, car when I got it, when I got Ruby. Um, some people were asking me also how good does that cross member work that I used. And... If you can see, that's the cross member. You have one bracket on one side, bracket on the other side. You can't really see it at the angle I'm at. But uh, you might see it, there it is. And that bar is so smooth, you know, so small in the way it bends. I could put any size pipe up under here that I want. And right now I'm running three inch exhaust. I could go four if I wanted to. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it. So, I know some people was asking for an under view of Ruby. You know, there go the drive shaft. And this drive shaft is bigger than stock. It's been upgraded. And, yeah, man. Transmission pan, oil pan, everything's clearance. Don't have no issues with nothing hitting. So, yeah, man. That's it. So, now, let's get the fuel put back in. Crank up and see if we still have any leaks. So, believe it or not, man, I had over a half a tank of gas, uh, half a tank of gas in here, man. And poured that one in, then I looked at this big ass tank, I was like, fuck that. So, went and got one of these multi-use pumps. So right now, filling the, filling the gas tank back up. I don't know if you can see the little bubbles of it's going through, but. It's going through. So, whew, man, that's the only thing I hate, man. Don't you just hate when you have a fuel pump issue or whatever and you got to drop the tank and you got a whole lot of gas in your shit? Man, why, why gas pumps don't pump problems or any type of problems you have? Why it don't ever happen when you ain't got no gas? But I always keep at least a half tank gas in my vehicles. So, hey, I did it to myself. So, but we got it ciphering in. I'm going to cut it back on soon. Yeah, guys, it was a success, man. Man, I'm happy with the new gas tank. As y'all seen, it was running. No leaks, no nothing. So I'm starting to think it was a little small pinhole over in that side where I showed y'all on that video. So I'm glad y'all came through, you know, watch the video. And man, don't forget, go over there to that giveaway video, man. A lot of people been commenting over there, hashtag candy paint giveaway, trying to give a whole paint kit for somebody, somebody's ride. One of you guys, subscribers of video watchers, could be the lucky one, man. So y'all be sure to go over there, you know me and, um, TNT Garage, trying to give it away to some lucky person, man. So be sure to go over there, you know, tell everybody. You know, the faster we can get all these uh, subscribers up on both channels, faster somebody gonna get blessed with that uh, giveaway. And until then, 
We just uh, knocking the little small things out on Ruby, and then she headed the sprayway. So, man, y'all be easy. I'm hot, ready to lay down and relax. So, until the next video, this your boy, Chevy Box Rider, signing out. Chevy TV. Chevy TV.